Oh, thank God. I was able to call my attorney, Mark O'Meara, and have him call Facebook and demand that I be released from Facebook jail. After paying a costly bond, I'm back. Ugh. I've learned my lesson now, though. Let me tell you what. And if you said, where did I get in a bind? Because I ripped clips of my own. I ripped my own clips from YouTube that I had... Hey, girl. Uh, that I had edit it with music and I don't understand how the music works on there what <laughs> you know I'm not making any money up anyway the bottom line I'm back and I've I've learned my lesson <laughs> you're all like all right anyway you guys I think if you said you know I need you to get these teach these puppies to go on a platform I you know the process I use is to make them believe and I think we have to understand you know, again, I'm not asking them to do anything they don't already do. Ask anybody, has this thing ever jumped on your coffee table? Or here's a better idea. Put your couch up against the window and go outside and see what you see. You're going to see your dog standing there. You know, if you, if you said they're thinking of it as a way to get a better vantage point. Oh, absolutely. And I do understand that, Chelsea. I... I do understand that now as why the height is the right height. Let me make sure I got that in the shot. I'll zoom in on the... Uh... Because you're offering them that vantage point. Look, here comes the little one. Look up there. I see us something else. Oh, you little lucky. All right, so remember, I'm working on my shaped retrieve. Let me turn my water. You know, so I've kind of helped them understand to pick something up. You know, I'm just, I'm saying right now I have two subtasks. I've got the task of picking it up and then picking it up out of the thing. So I'm going to try it with these keys and see. All right, and you've got to have your treats ready. And what I'm kind of figuring out, if you're trying to train eight of them at once, what I'm doing is kind of getting big chunks like this and then just breaking off little pieces so everybody can get some. But, you know, it's kind of precarious here because oh, you are just, she's just dying to do it. You know, and that's, that's what you want if you said, well, my goal is to have a dog that I can just look at it and it will wag its tail. Okay, well then don't touch it. Don't touch it. Let's, okay, first off, don't touch it, you know. And I'm not saying never touch them, but if you said I'm very, very delicate and deliberate about how I put my hands up. Not what I see people doing. They're very rough and crude. Very rough and crude. So I say women are better dog trainers. Men in general, rough and crude. Okay, so let's see what happens if I... Yeah, here comes this one. <laughs> whichever one does it, whichever one does it, yeah, none of them do it. None of us do it. None of us do it. Okay. Uh, let's warm up. Let's do the warm up. I do think you should start adding the yay, just honestly, as the very subtle. And then remember, bending them back. Yeah, I think you have to say that. Everything you're doing, everything you're doing should be... Honestly, I think this is the rule people need to have, unless you know how to do a remote sit. The only thing you're going to be doing at a distance is getting the dog moving back in your direction. You've got to think of that unless you're saying all your work is going to be within a very small radius of you. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. you got a telephone, you can call Russia. You can call Russia on your telephone, but you got your dog on an effing line. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm so disappointed in all these young dog trainers that none of them say, I want to stand out. It, it's, it's beyond me. I grab a prong and a line, and I'm just going to just agonizingly just, I don't even know. 
All right, here we go. Yeah, we're ready to do it. Your job is to kind of keep this out of the way. That's what's going Oh, fine. Well, not that that's probably going to do it. Oh, yeah, you see, as soon as, I, as soon as I try to keep it away. All right, here we go. Well, she sees it in there. Oops, oops. She's a little monkey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think they're going to see that one on the ground. I'm going to start doing the looking at it thing. She sees it in my hand. You little monkey, he's trying to get it. So yeah, they definitely see the container now. You know, if you said you were trying to work as young as possible, getting them to look where you look, I'd say, oh, that sounds like a great idea. As young as possible. Whatever you can do to augment that skill. Oh, this one will do it, too. their natural Tick -tick -tick, to move away from the handler but oh, I saved it at the end I saved it at the end so you all need to just go out and find these clear discontinued containers and there's probably a better one than this if I had to say there's probably something better than this that you could get they definitely see it though if you said they're not I am presenting you with this tray. I need this tray of hors d'oeuvres. There's just one step. You've got to take one step. That's what they're thinking. They don't know any different. I started it so young. If you said, oh, they remember a couple weeks ago. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't remember a couple weeks ago. They remember what you're building on. Oh, you little monkey. You're going to get the next and the next. Watch. Oh, she's going to get the next and the next. Yes, she's terribly clever. All right, this one does it too, though, watch. And I'm saying from right here, I better make sure and bend it back this way. As far as possible. You're installing that. If you're, that's what I want you guys to understand. Whatever method you're bending, you know, is, your bending is going to be a function of that. And that one already had a bend back in my direction, and this one too. Yeah, and if you said, well, where could I, where could I start getting rid of that bending back towards the handler? Start trying to tug with it. Start trying to tug with it. And you're going to have, take the money and run. Oh. All right, now, I found this little glasses case. I'd like to add this to the repertoire of what you pick up. So I just give them a tiny bite. caveat to this method, Mike, is the only thing they're ever going to pick up is these tiny flakes. <laughs> so the solution is, no, oh, here we go, here we go. Ah. Little monkey. Somehow like, it's not translating. All right, hang on, let's see if she does it. Bug, be careful. I'll do it, but I'll have the sound effect to make it seem like it's... Oh, Bug did it. Oh, Bug did it. Bug! I think you would want to be careful, though, using cloth, because you saw it sort of kind of shook her head a little bit. Alright. See if we got anything else in here. No, I'm trying to find some good objects. She might pick it up from there. It's not that different from the scrunchie. <laughs> and 
I really don't think. I know people place a lot of value on putting different objects and stuff, but my my school of thought would be if you could get them doing the behavior every day, the eventuality of being able to replace it with something else is, you know, on some level, and it's hard for people to think of it that way, but you've got to make their behavior the function of mechanics, where they're just sort of... Oh, she's absolutely perfect. This little one too, that little boy, he's the small one, but yeah, he's, he's definitely got something. Oh, thank God we're back on Facebook. It was absolutely awful. It was awful. Precious, precious little monkeys. All right, the rest of you are supposed to be over here climbing, doing your obstacles, all this other stuff. Falling asleep, all these other things. Oh, they get up so early. Already looking in there. You know, I need to start make I need to start making I need to start adding something to the sequence. You know, but I think if you wanted to start adding distance, you know. I could see where this would help you. Well, the things wouldn't be rolling away, but... Oh. Remember, my job is to bend it back this way. Honestly, if you can even make that happen two or three times, bend it back this way, this way, this way, this way. Bug, you've got to do it though, Bug. Bending back this way. Uh, they're starting to develop. I don't know if you're there, Mike, but they're starting to develop a natural bend back. And I think that's what you would do. If you say, how could I do the bend back? If you put it over there, chicka do empty, and then they go and look. I mean, you're going to just... They're so open for suggestion. If you just apply that, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They're just... That's what we always did. He's terribly, terribly clever. And Bug, you know how to do it, Bug. Honestly, they seem to have a good little grip on it, too. It's not... Oh, look at this little one, though. And that... This puppy is very... It's, it's trying very hard to get a degree in human behavior. I'm pretty sure she'll pick it up from right there. No, no, no. I just tried to get the one out of my hand. Bug! Oh. Bend it back in my direction. As you saw that, that could have easily been take it and run. I think all you would need is one time to take it and run, and then you're at risk of that always being an option. Not that you can't fix stuff, and I do want people to understand that. You can fix things in dogs. And you probably have to learn how to do that, but the more you learn how to do that, the more you learn it's better not to have to fix things. So I think even if you started bending them, just even from right here, right here, bending them back that way, you're doing the right thing. Okay. Now this one's very intellectual here. She's very special. Right. Some of you need to fall asleep. Oh, they're so talented. Gonna look, he's gonna see it. And my job is to bend it back in that direction. 
I'm going to tell you, if you go to start training horses, the first thing they do is start bending this thing. Bend it this way, bend it that way. They bend them to the right, they bend them to the left. You know, and every degree of bending in between. Because you've got to do that to be able to control the animal's momentum. If you don't have any ability to bend, they understand the, you know. Oh, he's so talented. And I'm just looking at it. Let's see if they start. Yeah, she, she went to look that. Uh-oh. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Bending, bending, bending. All right, listen, you guys, I've got to run over to Diamond Bar. Uh, but I want all of you to know I've learned my lesson. I don't want any of you. I know it must have just been for a few hours. I tried last night, but it wasn't. It was just one small infraction. Maybe it goes by the amount. The video clip was only a minute and a half. So, you know, maybe it's something like that. There's some formula that they come up with, but you can see how big and nice they are. And they've never been... They haven't been ruined. They haven't been ruined by having their head, you know, if I'm honestly saying to myself, oh yeah, no, they, they definitely are looking to get their ears tousled. The, the brothers and sisters definitely aren't doing it enough. I'll add to, <laughs> so painful. All right, Lucy, I don't know if you uh, know my kennel link, uh, but I'm going there right now. And then just thank God I'm back. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make, I don't want any of you to expect any more music on my channel. <laughs> None. <laughs> All music has been removed.